Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, new video of the Floss Marketing School. And today we are going to see how you can install a font in GNU Linux uh, distribution. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, here you are in uh, GNU Linux and uh, we're going to take for example uh, the example of GIMP. So uh, here we are uh, in GIMP and let's say that uh, you're going to write some text, right? So let's say whatever you want, right? Up your text, you're going to select it and you would like to apply it a font, let's say Lato, for example. So you're going to write Lato up here and you're going to see that no fonts correspond to Lato. So uh, you are frustrated and you are wondering actually how you can add the Lato font uh, to your GIMP installation. So uh, in order to install it, you can go on websites such as Font Squirrel and then you can look for uh, the given font that you would like to get. For example, here uh, the Lato one and um, here you have a button which is named download TTF file. So you just click on it. It's going to download the font. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Okay, save. Okay, great. And what's going to happen now is that you can go over here and then you can select the font that uh, you want. And let's say that's going to be the Lato regular. So that's the one. Okay, I can click on this one and I can click here on install. It may be possible on some uh, GNU Linux distribution. So you can uh, you can do this or uh, and I'm going to show you the other way. You can use uh, the terminal in order to uh, do so. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm just going to open the terminal over here and then I'm going to open a new tab and now I'm going to just move this given folder which is the one which I've been um, downloaded and I'm going to install it within uh, the folder where the fonts are. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go within my uh, downloads, so CD downloads in my case, okay, so downloads Okay, over here, so I have my Lato zip folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. So I'm going to do like MV for moving and I'm going to move it to user and then share. And within share, actually you get, whoops, you get the font. So here I get the fonts and I think I have several in my case. That's the one with a final S. So here it's telling me, okay, you need something else. In my case, that's, oops fonts okay um missing destination file open and okay so do something like this and open type so yeah okay that's just because i'm not moving anything so um okay so now i need to move my lato zip file and I'm just gonna move it to user share fonts fonts with an s Okay, and now I'm almost good. I just need to be in sudo in order to perform it. So I'm just going to ask for my password and now I'm all good. So now I just need to access to this given folder, which is the CD user share and fonts. All good. So now I'm there. As you can see, I have the letter over here. So I'm just going to unzip it. So I'm going to do like unzip and letter. Okay, so it's downloading them. Uh, now I can see that I have all my given, um, let's say, fonts which are over here. Actually, I could uh, do something a bit more cleaner and put them all in a folder. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm just gonna let's say, just remove my letter zip. And yeah, I could do something a bit more cleaner, but I'm going to keep it like this. Okay, so now everything is within the fonts folder. And now if I go within zip, uh, GIMP, and that I look for the latter one, I'm not going to find it yet because GIMP needs to be restarted for that. So I'm just going to um, shut it down and I'm going to open it back. So here, GIMP. And now if I'm lucky enough, I should see my fonts appearing. So if I go over here, I'm going to create, okay, I create something. And now I'm going to type something over here and I want to change the font. So I just select it. And then if I'm lucky enough and I look for Lato, yeah, I got Lato, right? And that's it. So now you can apply your given uh, font over here and it's going to work. So of course, 
I could have just uh, do a double click on the install button, but you may experience that it's some distribution. It does not work, or at least it's not possible to do it this way, or maybe you need to add an additional uh, components in order to use the UI. And here you have uh, the way you can install it thanks to the terminal. And that's it for uh, today. So I really hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. Please try to install your own font on a GNU Linux uh, distribution. There are some great uh, free, uh, um, let's say, free fonts out there and try to install on your own, actually, uh, the fonts in the Linux distribution. Thanks for watching and do not hesitate, actually, to make your own videos and share them on uh, any video hosting platform. Thanks for watching.